that was my huge fault um, when I recorded that. I honestly didn't know. Is this the Finally Cabinet segment? Heck yeah. This, this segment's great. So, that's that. Uh, I know I'm going to be getting my wisdom teeth taken out soon because they're actually hurting. My teeth are actually hurting on my left side or whatever. Did you see me move there? I moved all two filing cabinets. Or I moved both filing cabinets. Um, my, my left side of my face is hurting. Like, the bottom teeth on the left side are really hurting. I don't know if I'm going to actually... I might actually go see a dentist soon. Because... He said something about my wisdom teeth... Wisdom... Wisdom... Wisdom teeth having to be taken out uh, pretty soon. They're still growing. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Let me guys, let me know guys in the comments, because uh, I heard that's a really painful surgery. Uh, so let me, let me know <laughs> what you guys, th like what your experience has been. Did you think it was painful? Did you think it was fun? I love watching those YouTube videos where you, you find someone loopy, <laughs> or like when someone's loopy after um, having their wisdom teeth taken out. Uh, one of my friends, um, she had her wisdom teeth taken out, and she posted, you know, on Facebook a YouTube link um, of her, and it was just hilarious. She said the funniest thing, this is things. It was just constant hilariousness. I couldn't stop laughing. Uh, the first video was funnier than the second, though, I must say. But I mean, it's that. I also watched uh, Kate, you know, Caitlin Witcher. Um, her video when she got her wisdom teeth taken out. That was also a funny one, but I think my friend's one beat that one. She was just so funny. <sighs> I gotta find that video again, because that was freaking hilarious. I'm not gonna show it to you, because I want to protect, you know, kind of protect her. I don't know. If she, I mean, she posted on YouTube. I guess people are gonna see it, but I don't really want to introduce you. I mean, I'm not, she's not really that big of a friend, but it was still really, really funny. So... What's this? Why is this screwed up? Uh, it doesn't really mod matter. I'm not gonna do game audio. And that's the deciding factor right there. My my audio stream right now is completely screwed up. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah. Let me know in the comments what your wisdom, if you had your wisdom teeth taken out, if it's painful. Um, if it's not painful, if it's funny. I mean, apparently it's funny. Um, <coughs> wow. Posting a link is a permaban? Ouch. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna be so happy when I finally get this stuff out. Now, one game that was like really hyped for like two days uh, when it first came out was Rust. And they were like, oh, it's like the Minecraft version of... That thing almost killed me. Whoever did that almost killed me. See, see, see me moving in there? See me moving? And I wonder what people's um, people were saying. I wonder if they were talking about me. See, I'm moving with the filing cabinet, so it looks like I'm actually. Ah, oh, dang it! Someone got me. <sighs> that was really funny, though. I tried my best. Wow, this guy, this guy's cheating. I'm stuck, claws in trash. Oh well, I guess he's not cheating since he said in the chat that. He's stuck. I don't know. But, yeah. I forgot what I was saying. I just completely forgot what I was saying. I don't remember how, like, all this, like, how all this was, like, being recorded. Um, I did kind of get tired of the office map. <laughs> and I think I played one game in a different map, and I didn't like that one. And so I... I mean, because, you know, you're connecting to people's servers, and the people on the server actually, they're, they matter. <laughs> like, the effect, the quality of the server. There we go, that's what I was thinking about. And I just didn't uh, like the people um, in the server. Or on the server. On the one with the different map. But, yeah. In case you guys were wondering what fans I got, this is probably in a different video. I got Cooler Master Sleeve Bearing 120mm Silent Fan Value 4 Pack. Hot Savings. Uh, it says Hot Savings. Get it? Oh, it gets rid of heat. Oh, I 
can see it. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I don't know. I might. They might be better and quieter than the fans I have right now. But I don't think so. The, the fans I have on my computer are really, really quiet. I'm really happy with the quality of the computer. Um, well, quality is a really subjective term, I guess. It runs really nicely. Um, it's powerful. It's semi-quiet. I mean, of course, if you're going to stress a computer, it's going to be loud. Um, but it's quiet when idling, quiet when I'm sleeping, um, and just really good. I mean, it gets frustrating at times when things keep breaking, uh, which I need to double check if my second graphics card is still connected, because I did have that problem earlier on. I also don't know, okay, please explain to me, someone in the comments, <clears throat> Turbo Boost, because this whole Turbo Boost thing, I don't think I've ever went over my, the high, like, the rating of my processor. My rating of my processor is uh, 3.6 gigahertz. And honestly, when I'm rendering videos, I was rendering th three videos at one time once in three different editing programs. And I was still running at 3.6 gigahertz. And I thought Turbo Boost was supposed to kind of kick in when your computer's struggling. Um and kind of give you a nice kick in the butt because it's rated to like 3.9 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz uh, with Turbo Boost, my processor. And I know it has something to do with motherboards. Um, so for everyone that knows uh, stuff about, this is where I, the video switched, so that's why it cut off there. I don't know what happened. I might've got interrupted. Um, so for anyone that wants to know, or like wants to know my, uh, my motherboard, I have an Asus, P9X79 LE. Um, that's the that's the the whatever I was saying. The graphic or the motherboard. So let me know. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is Turbo Boost uh, ready or it it's compatible with Turbo Boost. But let me know if that motherboard is uh, compatible with it. Also, what, you know, what. Du -du -du -du. I'm trying to figure out what I was saying. Or, like, if it's not, like, why, what, what's going on, you know. Or if it is, how do I enable? Like, do you have to enable Turbo Boost or stuff like that? Because I'm, I'm so confused. Um as to why it's not working. I know my Mac's gonna have turbo boost and I'll, I guess I'll see I'll put that thing right to the test too and see how it how it goes with the, the boost so right when I get it if I get it I mean you know hopefully nothing bad happens I mean whose fault is it okay let's say okay let's say I buy a computer from Apple okay and they ship one well, let's say a plane crashes, you know, a UPS plane. Unfortunate and sad, and hopefully it'll never happen. Is it my loss or Apple's loss? I'm pretty sure it's Apple's loss, because they still have to get to a product to me. I don't know, maybe somewhere in the contract, you know, that you have to agree to Apple's terms and conditions to buy something. Maybe in there, it says, you know, if it's destroyed in shipment, it's not our responsibility. So, I mean... I wonder, like, if a company screws up, or, like, ships something out, but that thing gets destroyed in shipping, will, will you, will it, who pays for it, or who loses? That's something to think about. Never had anything, like, destroyed or lost in shipping before, and I hope I never do. I really do. I, I feel so, like, I'm so sorry for anyone that has had something lost in shipping, because even if you don't have to pay for it, you still gotta wait the extra time. And so that's just so frustrating. Uh, so yes, yeah, so sorry to hear that you did lose something. Um, but I hope, I hope that never happens to me. Ugh, I'm drinking Snapple. Snapple's on sale at my local grocery store. Uh, it's buy one get one free, and it costs two fifty. So buy one get one free makes it a dollar twenty five, and it is a giant giant two quart bottle and I love Snapple I've stocked up I have 18 bottles in my room right now is that a midget I just realized how small that person is 
Um, so yeah, amazing. I love Snapple. And I like it because it's made with good stuff. Healthy stuff. I don't know why it has five calories, but... Or what it's from. The five calories, but... I'm just glad it's there. I know I just got quieter. I, I've been sitting... Oh, I guess I can talk about that now. Um, I, I... I don't know if you guys have watched the... Sunburn Islands. But the past two days, I have played the heck out of the map with my brother. Uh, yesterday I stayed up until 6 in the morning recording it. And today I just got done recording it. Um, and so that's why I'm kind of out of breath and exhausted. Because that map literally exhausts you. Um, I know like some of you guys might go, Oh, it's just Minecraft. You can't really get like stressed and exhausted. But that last dungeon we tackled was brutal. Uh, I didn't tackle red or black yet and I haven't tackled cyan I don't know where the heck cyan is um, I gotta find it um, but I, want, I left all those there um, I still to record but I took on the gray wool and the gray wool dungeon is pretty rough there is quite a bit of creeper spawners in there and so definitely be waiting for those videos uh, the way I plan to upload or render them out and edit them is oh I might have cut here because I don't do I even play in the am I playing right now I don't know we'll see okay yeah I am playing um but like the way I plan to edit everything for that series and you guys might have noticed it by now but in case you haven't well there you go here you go, um, is eat by wool.